Hey, how's it going guys? Welcome to another PyQt5 tutorial video. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to work with file download using the PyQt5 library in Python. So let me show you the application that we're going to build in this uh, tutorial. So here we have a very simple uh, QMain window widget. And inside this widget, we have uh, two push buttons. So if I click on the first push button, upload image, a download window will pop up and it's going to ask us to select just the image file. So if you look at the drop down, we only get one option to select the image files. But if I go to my uh, pictures folder and if I just select image, and based on the image we select, we're going to display the image in our application. And for the next push button, so this one is a little bit more, uh, more generic. So with this download window, we can select any image that we want. Except that here I implement a condition that uh, if, if I select any files other than a Python file, it's not going to uh, do anything. So for example, if I select this uh, ICO file, and nothing's going to happen. But if I go back, if I choose a Python file, and the download action will display the Python script in this text box below. So now let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to import all the necessary classes and libraries. Uh, so from this exercise, I'm going to import the Q widgets, Q application, and Q file log, Q file dialog class. And I also need the text editor and push button and a label. And I'm also going to import the QV box layout to align all the widgets. And also from the Qt GUI module, I'm going to input a QPix map class. And as well as the QDIR uh, class. Now that's all the classes that we need. Now let's go ahead and create our uh, application class. So I'm going to call this class dialog app. I'm going to pass the Q widget class as the parent class. So I'm going to resize the window first and let's do 800 by 600. And I'm going to create my first push button. So let's call this a uh, button one. I'm going to give a caption upload image. And so here we're going to create another push button. And I'm going to call this push button button two. And I'm going to give the caption upload text. It should let's do Python script. So that'll be more appropriate. So let's do import Python script. So that should be okay. And here we're going to create a label to display the image. So I'll call the label, label image. And as well as a text editor. And lastly, I'm going to create the layout. So here I'm going to add each widget to the layout object. And so the first thing is the push button that is going to upload the image. And next I want to add the label. And this will be the push button number two. And this will be the text editor. And that's it. Now we need to add the layout to our application. So we'll do self dot set layout and we'll provide and we'll pass the layout object. Now let's take a look at what the application looks like. So here I'm going to construct my dialog app instance and I'm going to call the object demo. So if I run the Python script and this is what we have so far. 
just a very simple application where two push buttons. So one is to up one is to upload the image, the other one is to import the Python script. Now let's continue. So we're done with designing the interface. Now we just need to connect different buttons to different uh, methods. So here I'm going to create a method to uh, import the image file. And we need to get a file name so using the QFile dialog uh, class. And there's a method called get open file name. So we'll pass the parent object, which is this, uh, this dialog app uh, instance. And the title will be uh, open image file. So if you want, you can provide a default path. Let's say I want the dialog window to always open from the picture directory. So to do that, I'm going to grab the the uh, folder path. So I'll just grab this file path and I'll, re and I'll remove the file name. And send it uh, to backward slash. And next, I need to specify my uh, file types. So since I only want to import image files, so I'll do image files. If you want to specify your file type, so we want to uh, use the open parenthesis and followed by the file and followed by the file name. So here I'm going to use the wildcard symbol uh, to do a capture O dot JPEG. So I want to input a JPEG file um, and as well as the JPEG file. And the last one will be the GIF file. Now we have the file name. Now all we need to do is we just need to display the image uh, onto the this label image object. We'll use the set pixmap method and we'll take the qpixmap class and we'll just pass the file name uh, directory. And here I'm going to create a method to get the Python script. Here I'm going to create a QFile dialog object. And I'm going to set my file mode to uh, any file. And next, I'm going to set my filter to select just the files. Here, I'm going to insert if condition to check if the dialog is currently running. So we'll do dialog dot execute with the underscore. And since this is a different uh, dialog window, so we want to uh, grab the file name. So we'll use the select files method to get the file name. And here we can see that if the file name, oops. And since this is going to be a, a tuple, we only want the first element. And we want to check if the file name ends with the, the uh, Python extension. And if it is, then we can basically continue our operation. We can open the file. That's read only. And we'll read all the uh, Python script uh, and pass the, the code to this data object. And once we have the Python script, and we can uh, pass the Python script to the text editor. And here I'm going to close the file. And that's it. Oh, it should have got. Otherwise, I'm just going to pass uh, any of the uh, actions. Now we have the methods created. We just need to connect each button to uh, their own appropriate uh, methods. So for button one, I'm going to connect to the get image file method. And 
and for button 2 I'm going to connect this, uh, the click events of sync notes to the get text file method so that's the entire code now if I just run the python script and here I have a typo Okay, now it seems like everything uh, is working. Now if I click on the upload image push button, and it's going to uh, open my picture folder as the default uh, folder. So here my image is not showing up. Let me check, so .jpg. Okay, so I see what happens here. So let me uh, close the application. So here I forgot the close parenthesis. And let me fix that typo. Now this time if I launch the upload image dialog. So I'm going to choose uh, this image that I took in Japan. This is a photo that I took in Nara. They are famous for their uh, wild deers. Now if I push the import python script. Now if I just pick any other file other than a python file. And as you can see that nothing is happening. Now if I go back. If I select the, the Python file, and here the text editor is going to display the Python code in this text editor uh, widget. So that's everything I'm going to cover in this video. Just the basic concept of how to use a file dialog widget in Python. Thumbs up if you found this video useful. And as always, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video.